All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back to check out Discord again, talking about how to set up your very own virtual voice chat server on the web for free using nothing but this panel. And you can invite as many of your friends as you'd like, and they are more than happy to accommodate you. So basically all that you need to worry about is attached to gears that is attached to everything that you can hover over except for individual people. And then there's also a couple other settings that are available when you click on these three little hash marks here on the top of your server. Now I'm a part of a couple different servers. I've got my own Chupacabra's Lair server that I use to record with some of my pals. And I've also got uh, this Don't Inspect Me group that I'm hanging out with, and also this Poor Y server. And basically how this works is if you want to invite someone to your server, you send them a little URL that they input, and it will take them directly to this app if it's installed on their computer, and they can start interacting with you on, uh, well, on the, on the app. And this, of course, has the ability to live link in stuff like pictures, for reference, like this is from when me and my friend Death were <clears throat> doing our little Pokemon series. And all you have to do to set up a server is you just go over here to this side panel and you click on this little plus symbol and this lets you create or join a server, but I'm going to create a server and we're gonna call this the Chupacabra Test Server. And it'll give it like a little CTS icon and you can actually give it a little icon to you so that it's easily identified in the giant list of servers because some people are a part of like something like 50 servers because they're crazy people and of course you can change what region of the world it's in they've got some a uh, bunch of them in the u.s obviously they've got one in amsterdam frankfurt london singapore and sydney so these are all over the world so i'm in u.s west i mean that's basically where I'm centered in, it's kind of like Colorado, that's kind of like US West-ish. And we're gonna click Create. So now that we're in here, you've got all this wonderful information telling you uh, my current name in here is Captain Crispy, but you can see that I've got my little Chupacabra icon and it starts telling me to immediately invite some new members and it also automatically put me into the voice chat channel. But I'm gonna click this button down here to disconnect that because I'm not really using that right now. I'm talking with you fine folks at home, and that's not really necessary. So we can click this, and I can invite people, and this invite code is good for up to 24 hours after you create it, and you can share that on Twitter, or you can just copy it here. But I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, what I wanna do right now is I wanna start setting up our server. So I'm going to go here, here's the basic text channels, People can link in stuff like say, hello everyone. And basically, even if you're not logged in, you can log back over here and you can see what everyone else has uh, typed um, from when you logged off to the present. So you can always get caught up. All of that stuff is logged and archived for you. So you don't have to worry about missing anything. But all I wanna do is I wanna click on this text channel and I'm gonna call this the, um, general space or dash chat and you can't have spaces in these for whatever reason and the channel topic is say words about things and you can make as many of these channels as you want we can send invites to people or we can revoke people's access to this channel and we can adjust people's individual permissions so that they can do things like um, I maybe don't want people to send text-to-speech messages because those can be a little bit annoying. That's where, like, you type in something with slash TTS and somebody wants to have it heard by everybody, so the robot voices say words for you. And you can just disable or enable people's ability to send images, manage messages, all these different things per permission level, and you can even create um, extra permission rolls a little bit further in here. So I'm gonna just leave these as default so that they just inherit whatever the main server permissions are. 
And I'm actually going to create another text channel. This is like the uh, secret bacon. Whoops, I can't have spaces. That's right. Bacon society. I'll create that channel and I can thus um, m mess around with its individual channels permissions and I can instant invite people to it. And then down here you've got the voice chat channel and this is just, you know, whatever you want to call it. Voice chat. And you can call us whatever you want, instant invites, permissions, basically all the same permission systems. However, if you have members who have really terrible microphones and you don't want them to use their terrible microphones voice activity because you constantly hear their dog barking in the background, you can actually disable it so they have to use text-to-speech only. So hey, I mean, I like the level of control they have in here. It's kind of like using Ventrilo or TeamSpeak for that matter. So I'll just click done. Now, where was it that they control? Here we go. Roles. I can add roles to this by simply clicking on someone. So I'm the at the role of server admin, and I'll add that. Up. Oh, I guess that one. Uh, it's being a little uh, a little fiddly for me today. I guess it. Oh, I guess that's just giving me the list. So we'll go up here. Go to server settings, and we can go, well, I guess we'll just go down the list. We can create an AFK channel if we want. Um, so this basically means if someone's in voice chat and they don't say something for a while, you can set that up, and then you can set the timeout limit. I always love a program that has a built-in um, AFK system, because those can be really annoying if someone's gone and you want to talk shit about them and then they come back and you didn't expect them to do words or whatever. You can set verification levels so that they can meet messages. Um, basically this means if like you have a public server and people are inviting whoever, you can set it so that they need to be like, I don't know, they have to have a verified email with their Discord account, they have to be on Discord for longer than five minutes, or they must be a member on the server longer than ten minutes. You know, you have all these lovely controls to keep spammers out. Um, you've got the instant invites, you got the integration so that you can actually later, this isn't quite set up yet, but you can con you can sort of hook this up with Twitch and also YouTube gaming coming up. And then you've got the different members. And then here's what I was really looking for. So you can set up different permissions for the server. So you can set up like officers and administrators. I'm going to name this one admin and all administrators are going to be red because they're just that awesome. And they have the ability to manage the server, and they can manage the roles, and they can kick members and manage channels and ban buttholes. And you can adjust their permissions here, and then I want all the other members to be, I don't know, just this regular... I guess you can't really mess with this. But I can also add, let's say I want some officers. Because I like minions, I love peons. Peons are the best, and officers will be a green color. And then I can set up whatever they're able to do. And then I can assign people, now that I've done that, I can assign me the role of admin. Because I am Captain Crispy, and I am the lord of this server. And then I can go back in here, I go to server settings. I can manage bands. I can manage widgets that I can enable or disable. So you can do, like, uh, widgets for the instant invite channel, you can control the server IDs, you can embed information for other people to see your... So basically, I enable this widget, just so you understand what this is. I can embed this on a server somewhere, on, like, a website, and people can randomly come and join me. So this is... I've actually seen this used by the Minecraft TechIt community to get technical help and to join other people on the public TechIt servers. And then we've got the, the members list, so you can add or remove members from in here. Um, instant invites, so that's basically all the server permissions. And then I really think that's about it for this. I mean, you can disable with these buttons up here, notifications. So if I go back here, these guys are talking about whatever. I can disable these notifications so that when I go back to our test server, people can't, you know, try to say words to us.
You know, that reminds me. I do need to change this icon. So you can click on this and you can go into your awesome press kit, because you guys are so cool, you have press kits too. And I can assign this whatever icon I want. Like, we're, we're on the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. So I'll upload my Chupacabra Tutorial icon. And now, forever after, this will be the icon for this test server. And I'm not sure how I delete the server. That's the only thing I'm not super certain on. But you've got all those powers there. And you can individually mute things so that you don't get notifications from the different servers if you're only there to hang out with friends when you play League of Legends. Other things I suppose we could check out is if we go into voice chat, just so we kind of talk about all of the things related to Discord, is we pop into to voice chat and we can get some connection info about our current um, connection and what it's doing and our milliseconds and all that stuff, our ping, so to speak. We can disconnect from voice chat with that other button there. And we can mute our microphone, disable or deafen ourselves. And this other button here is our user settings. I don't really care if you see my email because that's publicly available to people. I don't know if I have it on my tutorial channel, but I'll put it up there later. The different services that I have the ability to connect to. Uh, my text and image settings. And I, you'll notice I disable text to speech, but I will show you what it sounds like because it can be kind of annoying when people spam it. And then we got our voice settings, I have a Yeti microphone, and I have voice sensitivity you, um, activated. And you can actually use this automatic setting and it'll take care of that stuff for you without having to fiddle with anything. Um, I disable notifications because I find them annoying. I have a toggle mute button. I have different appearance stuff, like you can have a light color on our on our interface if we really want it. I don't necessarily like the light coloration. Personally, I much prefer the dark. It's sinister. And then you can display what games you're playing when you're playing with Discord. So like uh, if I go back, let me disconnect from chat. If I go back to the Chupacabra Slayer, you can see my buddy Zappy Dan. Also, that's my friend Death. That's the guy I was talking about earlier. He's playing World of Warcraft and my pal who goes by Assy McGee, who is currently Avatar of Jontron, is uh, AFK in the game League of Legends. So you have all sorts of stuff in here, and then you can set what your, your uh, language is down here. So that's all those basic settings. And if you want to change account settings, you have to input your password. But I won't tell you mine, you're not cool enough for that, unfortunately. And then if you want to, like, message people directly, you can send them a direct message. Or you can check out their profile. This is Zappy Dan, Mutual Servers. And you can send a message to him, Zappy Dan the Magnet Man. And he's got, this basically just says his, um, his availability. This green means he's currently awake and playing on the server. And I could also right-click him right here. Uh, there it is. And I can ban him or kick him from the server. But note, if you kick people from the server... They don't just have the ability to come back immediately, you actually have to re-invite them. But uh, banning just means they can't even be re-invited back. So that's how, that's the difference there. I think that really about covers it. Um, this section up here is your direct messages, it behaves the exact same way as the server. So yeah, that's how you set up and use Discord. Isn't that just the fanciest and pranciest and most wonderful of things? And should you get stuck, you can always hit this question mark in the lower right hand corner or ask your pal Larry for help because some of this differs slightly from Mac to PC. You might notice by these little buttons up here that I'm using this on a Mac, but I have it on all my devices and it's also available on the phone if you want to use this on the go. It's really great on the phone, actually. One of the best chat apps on the phone. Um, you can use it on the go and it's great. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Thank you for joining me for how to open up, run, and use, and fiddle with all the settings in Discord voice chat app. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Uh, this this uh, tutorial, of course, was made in response to several people who requested a full tutorial, not just the preview that I had made before, as well as a few really weird spammers that don't seem to know the difference between a preview and a tutorial. So yeah, it's, uh, thanks for the suggestion, guys. It's always good to have your input on future tutorials, and if you'd like to suggest one, pop it down in the, well, in the comments below. So yeah, I've been Larry. 
like and subscribe and toodles everybody